A new kind of HDMI to VGA adapter came onto the market late in 2015. In this video, I take you a look at the HDMI to VGA adapters out there to see and hear how the new form factor measures up. For this comparison, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi Zero, which you can see in the top left, right. That will require this mini HDMI adapter. Here's a three meter VGA cable that is plugged into my monitor. And since I think audio is an important feature for the adapters, um, it'll involve uh, this uh, cam jam speaker and of course uh, 3.5 mil stereo jack. I'm going to take a look at an adapter from uh, Kamak, an unknown brand. Uh, this one is um, from Maple and it's, it's not branded. In fact, it's very hard to, uh, to see that on the camera. Uh, but I got that from Maple and it has some interesting features. And my most recent acquisition uh, is this little guy, a VGA adapter dongle, which I got from the Pi Hut. And as you can see, um, the manufacturer anyway uh, makes them available in a number of different colors. Let's take a look at this one from Maplin, which is the first one that I got um, when I found that my new laptop only had a HDMI output and I was working with uh, um, older projectors and uh, and so on. What's interesting about this one is that uh, not only does it have a HDMI cable, uh, but uh, it has multiple uh, cables that could be plugged in. Uh, so uh, you've got your mini HDMI, micro HDMI, and is regular sized HDMI. It also takes uh, power because it can be, uh, it can amplify the audio. The test comparison is going to involve running a Sonic Pi uh, program. And since the Maplin adapter comes with uh, a mini HDMI cable, I'm going to. Uh, use that one uh, directly which is quite convenient um, so we'll power things up and see how they uh, look and sound The Maple one I bought almost two years ago is still available um, and still expensive. The Kamak one on Amazon uh, is quite inexpensive now. And this new form factor, bear in mind Kamak also make one of these, uh, but this no brand one is available through the Pi Hut. So let's um, see what should be taken out. Really the, the Maple one is just too expensive. The dongle is, sounds great and the picture is great. The same thing with the, the Kamak one. 
but just for uh, size even though the Kamek ones are not cheaper I definitely go with this in future for this comparison I used a program running in Sonic Pi um, Sonic Pi is loads of fun um, links for everything referred to in the description below uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more weird and wacky uh, videos on the range of things that interest me.